to represent New Mexico's first congressional district as one of the first Native American women elected to Congress and a member of the Laguna Pueblo. Today, we come to you from Washington, D.C., which is the indigenous homelands of the Nacochtank, Anacostan, Piscataway people. We acknowledge the legacy of this land's original inhabitants and find inspiration from the lands and the waters. We recognize that our country was built on indigenous land and we pay tribute to the indigenous nations who have stewarded these lands, these waters and animals for centuries and who have made great sacrifices in the building of our country. And now I would like to introduce Claudette White of the Katsan tribe. And I want to thank former councilman Preston Arrow Weed for his teachings and his willingness in bringing this song to us today. Mrs. White is a person of many talents and thank you so much for your song from the Katsan and the Kumeyaay tribes. Today, she joins us to share a traditional song to welcome you all to the 59th presidential inauguration. Please join me in welcoming Claudette White. Hello from the Fort Yuma Quetzal Indian Reservation. On behalf of my tribal nation, I would like to congratulate President-elect Biden and Vice President-elect Harris for their historic win. I would also like to thank both of them for their commitment to upholding the U.S. trust responsibility to tribal nations and our sacred lands with the promise to restore lands and protect the natural cultural resources within them. Thank you. Honestly, I couldn't find a better way to start this program officially than 
with a tribute, with a nod to the indigenous community that is part of this country because they were here all along and they have been and they are part of the community. And I love seeing that personally because so many of us come from indigenous roots and it's always nice to see the recognition that they deserve. Thank you so much. That was great. That was amazing.